This video explains user or group authorization. Once you log in, you will land on the Deftron dashboard. You can manage user or group access to your projects, applications, environments, chat groups using the user access feature of the Deftron. All you have to do is to follow these steps. From the left panel, go to Global Configurations and click on User Access. To create a group, click on Groups tab. To add a new group, click on Add Group. You can enter the group name and group description in the following boxes. Since I have already created two groups, that is Demo Developers and Demo Admin, let's have a look on this. Here, the group name is Demo Developers and the group description is Build and Deploy Applications. You can assign this group access to the demo project, access to the demo project for all environments and all applications. This group can build and deploy all the application. You can see Deftron has four types of access levels for both users as well as groups. View only to view only selected applications, build and deploy to build and deploy on selected environments, admin to view, trigger and edit selected applications, manager. In addition to admin permissions, he can also manage the user access. You can also manage the chat group permissions for the group. That is, you can allow the group to create chat groups or edit chat groups. Here, I am giving permission to the group to create the chat groups. Click on save after you are done configuring the permissions of this particular group. You can see the, the group is created successfully. To edit this group, click on this downward arrow and you can edit the permissions of this particular group. To delete this particular group, click on this delete button. Similarly, you can see I have created this another group, Demo Admin. For the project managers with the admin permissions, I have assigned this group to the project Demo. And this group has access to all environments and all applications. Since this group has the admin permissions, it can view, trigger and edit the applications. And the group has the permission to create chat groups. Click on save. You can see this another group is created successfully. To create a new user, click on this users tab. To add the new user, click on add user. Add the email addresses of the users whose permission you want to manage. Assign the group name to which you want to assign this user to. And then manage the permissions. And then manage the chat group permissions and click on save. Here I have created one user as an example. Let me show you this. I have created this user who is the developer, who is assigned to this group demo developers that I had created earlier, which has the permission to build and deploy applications. We can even assign the direct permissions to this user. For example, here this user is assigned to the demo project who has access to the selected environments and selected applications. Here, the user has only view only permission. You can manage the chart group permissions for the user in a similar way as you managed for the group. Here you can see I have allowed the user to edit specific charts and then click on save. You can see our user is created successfully. You can edit the user and delete the user in a similar way as for groups. That is, by clicking the downward arrow, you can 
edit the user and click going or delete, you can delete the user. This is how you can configure the permissions of the users and groups. Thank you.